Hi, and welcome back to this week's blog. This week I wanted to talk to you a little bit about getting the interior of the home looking great. Now, over the last couple of weeks we talked about staging, we talked about landscaping, so I wanted to get a little bit more specific with the interior of the home. You know, buyers today, when they're looking around for a home, they're looking at three factors. They're looking at the location, which location is what it is. We can't change that. They're looking at the condition, and they're looking at the price. Well, in today's real estate market, again, that condition becomes one of the most important things. Buyers, when they're buying today, they're a little uncertain, like, hey, is this market still declining? How do I know that I'm going to buy this home? I'm going to put some equity in, and it's still going to be worth what I put into it. So when you're going to sell a home, one of the things that's really important, or even if you're just wanting to add value to your home over the long run, is to make sure that you're keeping the interior of the home, the interior of the home looking real good. So let's first talk about flooring. Flooring, if you're going to be replacing carpets, or if you're going to be putting in hardwood floors, you're going to be putting in tile, try to do your best to keep those real neutral. You know, one belief that I've always had in real estate is keep the floors neutral and put any color you want on the wall because the walls, they're easy to change. If a buyer comes in and they don't like the color, it's easy to change, but the flooring is obviously much more expensive. So some of the things today buyers are looking for, everybody's looking for hardwood, they love hardwood, you know. You may want to stay away from the dark cherry colors because they do have a tendency to nick up and show lots of dust. So maybe the light or the more medium colors or something for the, is, a, is a great thing, the way to go. Especially when, also carpeting, when you're looking at carpeting, you want to look at something that's pretty neutral, um, you know, something that's going to have good wear. And, you know, always in, if, you're, if you're going to be using the home while you have the carpet in there, invest a little bit more money, get the good padding and get a good quality carpet because if you don't, you'll be sorry and only last a few years. And then if you're looking to add, you know, tiling to the floor, ceramic or porcelain tile, it's a little bit more expensive, but it lasts a long time and it just looks great and buyers are so drawn to it. You know, when you look at things like a vinyl floor in the kitchen or vinyl in the bathroom, those things are pretty basic and, you know, they're not going to add that much value to the home. So hopefully these, these tips will really help you in improving the value of your home and if you are thinking about selling it, getting it on the market in the best tip-top condition that possible. Thanks again for joining us for this week's blog, and attached below I'll have a little bit more information to provide you with this. Thanks so much, and have a great day.